Welcome to RPA. In this video, we'll discuss about what is UiPath rewards, how to manage rewards, and perform different operations on UiPath rewards. So, if you don't know about the UiPath orchestrator, please watch my first video about introduction of or UiPath orchestrator. I will also include the URL in description tab. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Robots is nothing but um, in UiPath is normally a modern folder under a user profile, meaning robots always stay run in the context of certain user identities. User identities and the association with role allows for certain level of access to resource in an orchestrator. User gets the permissions required to perform particular operations through one or multiple roles. Because attended robots impersonate real individuals, they should run under user accounts. Unattended robots should run under service account, special account dedicated to applications or virtual machine, not persons. If you want to manage a robot, robot management performed on the user page and involves enabling automatic robots creation for the desired user identity. So if I want to create a robot, I will simply go to my tenant's account and here I will create my own robots, configure the robots. You can see here, this is the user level permission where it's already created one of the robots which is deployed. It's on its attended robot. If I want to create unattended robots, I can add it from here. It's the robot is automatically created according to our settings. Robot management is done automatically. That is enabling automatic robots create at the user level, defining its execution settings and authentication credentials on automatic creating a floating robot. UiPath robot has access to the resources residing to the folder. The user and machine of unattended has access to attended robots or uh, uh, unattended used in attended mode can be monitored at the tenant label on the robots page. Unattended machines and run times can be monitored at the folder level that is monitoring. And inside the monitoring, we can see machines. The machines will help us to get the credentials. So here you will find it on attended, unattended sessions and user sessions. So these two sessions are available where we can do first in the configuration level, we can do the configurations. If we are working on any specific group or set of the groups, that is also we can modify it or changes in the in the automation space. You will find it out different sections. And here you can see machines, triggers, queues, assets and process and automatic robot management can be configured for directory users or directory groups as well. The automatic robot processing settings for the directory group added to orchestrator is inherited by any user member of the ED group. Robot auto provisioning is only valid for the attended robots. Robot views. The robot page at the tenant level illustrates the robot configurations done in the orchestrator which I have already shown you here. Inside the tenants, you can see a uh, configured unattended sessions and user session. Configure robot will help you to add the configuration point of view where you can do the configurations. You can also check folders and the permissions from here. If you have added any additional things, you can add the uh, refresh the page and you will find it out the contents here. From here, you can create assign roles, uh, roles and the machine level permission uh, to the robot. Add elastic robot pool is also possible from uh, machines. Unattended sessions, the sections offers a overview of all, overview of all unattended sessions and related informations. Here you can see connected machines, the name of the host machines, machines, runtime, 
uh, these all are informations are available in unattended uh, mode in use the number of run times currently being consumed out of the number of the run time secured on that host machine a run time is consumed during job execution and the license type is also available then the service username status and last heartbeat of the robot it will give you time elapsed since the last heartbeat uh, over 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 this fail to see the exact time of the last heartbeat user sessions will help you to understand the sections offer an overview of all user sessions started from the assistant and related informations this will give you a detail about user domain or username connected machine status type and version inside the classic folder inside the classic uh, robots the sections offer an overview of robot are defined in classic folder and related information this tab is not displayed in the modern only organizations so this is all about robots and different sections of the robot hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching